In this video, we're going to look at how to add a user to the system. Now, you got to have admin privileges in order to be able to add a user to the system. So I'm going to close out this patient here. And as you can see, when we close out a patient, it goes into the patient finder. And the finder can be found here. Now, you can still use the, because some people like to use the add remove here in order to search for patients and then if they're not found go ahead and put one in remember that thing i told you about it's going to take a long time to load let's not wait for that all right so let's go ahead and go click on users so if you have the admin tab here and then you have users this is how you add a new user then you would click the new user wizard and it will come up and populate two and then go ahead and add your user put in their username it can be anything you want to uh, up, it is case sensitive so if you put in uppercase lowercase you do have to give it to the person that way and the password needs to be more than eight characters and include special characters as well so you would put in your password so that it can authenticate you as being able to add the person to the system and then if the person is a provider when you check this box here it's going to check provider and calendar but if your provider does not need a calendar uncheck that box there this portal will give them access to seeing the portal or being shown in the portal for patients to select as a provider and also see portal messages if you leave this unchecked then they have no access to the portal from the what we call user or uh, uh oh yeah i did say user from the provider side of the program okay so from the provider side they would not have access you can select a clinic to assign the provider to okay and also the pertinent information you're going to need like if you're going to be doing prescriptions then you're going to put in their DEA number you need to put in the MPI number regardless because of course you're going to be doing billing so you're going to need to put that in there and then you can select the type of provider this list here is managed over in list and it is provider no physician type is the list that you want to if you want to change this list here go in the list and do physician types okay and then you have your standard menu this will be a whole nother video here on how to make menus and cut down or pare down to what people only need so the menu is not so big and a lot of times the menu being so big is scary to people now this menu this list here you can change as well but we're going to save that one for a really security video and this one here is by default billing facility this was newly added so you can set their facility that they're going to see patients in and then you can set the provider's billing facility if it's a provider but if it's just a regular user then you're going to want to choose like clinician if it's a clinician a clinician of course is somebody who's just seeing a patient but is not the provider and then the physician so each one of these have different roles with it and it will pare down in the system what they can see and what they cannot see and also you can do multi-select so if I want the physician to be able to see accounting data then I'm going to select accounting and physician or just vice versa if I have a clinician that I need to have well actually I would just assign a physician if the clinician is acting as a provider of course you know you don't see nurse practitioner on here that's kind of uh, newer than the system was designed a long time ago but if you give somebody administrator rights you don't need to assign them anything else because they can do everything that you can do so that's why you have to be careful about the assigning administrator rights to anybody because I've seen people do this they'll sign administrator and they'll sign accounting and they'll sign condition and that's just wrong because once you sign administrator you don't need to assign anything else all right so you can assign front office and clinician or you can assign front office and physician that's really not necessary but however again if you want to cover your bases it, it you can do it that way so let's see access control that'll be a whole nother video too thanks for watching have a good evening